Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So um, I've been playing with the standing arch and curl for a little bit with my clients, um, especially those who have tight hamstrings. Um, and I like it for a variety of, re of reasons. One is that it's standing. Um, and the other is that we can really work on spinal articulation, both in flexion as well as getting good extension feedback um, in the standing position without the hamstring inhibiting the, the movement of the spine. So if you have your client stand in a lunge and you really want to cue them to have their back leg straight, their front knee bent, and they will want to straighten their front knee. So you want to encourage them to keep that knee bent so that the hamstring is, um, is not on tension. And then it's a very simple just curl down to where they can. And I've got the feedback of the bar helping to encourage that deep flexion in my upper thoracics. And then you can just unwind and come back to your tall position. And you can work that a few times, cueing them to pull the feet apart, press them down into the floor, roll through their upper ribs, and come back in. And then to get into a little bit of extension, you just bring them into their deep flexion. And then I really like being able to reach through the upper chest as I pull my arms down and back towards me. So I'm getting this really nice feedback of the spring and the bar that's helping to connect the arms down the back as I come up. And you could also reverse this and go out into a long back extension here. If I'm here, right, if my hamstrings are tight, it's gonna be more difficult for me to really get into that nice long spine. And then you could come up in your curl. So there are lots of ways to kind of vary this depending on what it is that you're trying to work on with your particular client. But this is a great way to bring in, again, a standing exercise and more articulation, mobility, awareness into your client's spine. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.